Mozambique is a tropical dream, a hidden gem of Africa with endless turquoise waters, powdery beaches and vibrant marine life coming together to create an unforgettable slice of paradise. In this video, we are exploring two of its most stunning coastal destinations, Tofo and Vilenkulos, from world-class diving and whale shark encounters in Tofo to the idyllic sandbanks and breathtaking islands of the Bazaruto archipelago in Vilenkulos. This is your ultimate guide to paradise. Let's dive in. Welcome to Mozambique! So, over the course of this video, we are going to be showing you one of the least travelled countries in Africa, the magical Mozambique. We are starting our journey here in Tofo, which is about eight hours drive north of the capital of Maputo. But to get here, we took a really short flight from Maputo, which was about an hour. To Inhamban and then a 20 minute ride to the coast. Look how magical that is behind us. We've got a week here, we are gonna be chilling on the beach and going scuba diving. We cannot wait. And the second location we'll be going to is a place called Vilanculos, but that's gonna be 10 days on magical islands, more scuba diving, more beach. We cannot wait. This is actually paradise. We are staying at Baya Sonambula guest house and we have got one of the Lux bungalows overlooking the beach. Let's go check it out. So we have the most epic balcony. We've got two deck chairs, this amazing little kind of like bed thing that I've been laying on all day long, and then our own private little pool at the bottom, which is pretty perfect for just two people, and it's not cold, which makes a real difference in Africa because all of the swimming pools in Africa have been freezing. And this is our view. We actually haven't been to the beach yet, we've been here for like over 24 hours. We're gonna go down there for sunset, but here is the bedroom, which we absolutely love. I mean, we're getting like serious Bali-esque vibes in here. Nice little chilled sofa area, lovely double bed. Fans are a godsend because it is hot here. I mean, I don't know if it's this hot all the time, but right now it's like 30 degrees, and it's still 30 degrees at night. And the bathroom, is wow. Indoor outdoor shower, incredible bamboo, maybe live with model in the shower later on, I'm not going to. And yeah, absolutely amazing. sunbathing, chill area, we've got breakfast and you can pre-order dinner and lunch here. We've been heading out for dinner. It's all about the view. I mean, look at this beach. That is five minute walk from our hotel was our favorite Japanese restaurant, Sumi Bar and Kitchen. Diving in Tofo is incredible. Here you have the chance to see absolutely anything. Come at the right time and even humpback whales will be in the area. We had some incredible dives on our first day and even saw a leopard shark. So 
the second night and we are back at Sumi Bar in the kitchen. Same Japanese restaurant we came to last night and we just need to talk about this crab salad. It's like the greatest thing I've ever eaten. It's covered in peanut sauce, loads of crab and it's just so addictive. We've got seven nights here and we may well be here seven nights because it's so, so good. We've got like four trays of sushi coming. Today we have come down 20 minutes down the road from Topo to Barra. We are at Barra Beach and it is absolute paradise. There's nobody else here. We've come to Green Turtle to get some food which we have been highly recommended and we've got beds on the beach. I just feel like I'm just in paradise right now. It's absolutely worth coming to 100%. Content creators in the wild, here they are. A drinkless banging. Let us know, how is it? It's bad. Is it good, yeah? Yeah, it's really Food. So we have come to Tacos and Friends, and so far so good. I've ordered a margarita, and it's come like this, which looks divine. Um, yeah, and we've just ordered some burritos, and corn, and all Mexican types of things, and we let you know how it is. Sanambula Hotel, we have had an absolutely blissful stay. It's been an amazing four nights overlooking Tofo Beach, super, super chill, incredibly friendly staff, have loved the breakfast in particular. Mm. However, we've got three more nights here in Tofo, so stay tuned for that. So this is Kumba Lodge on Tofo Beach, where we are going to be staying for the next three nights. We are staying in individual beach cabins right on the seafront here. Let's show you around. Yeah, we're really looking forward to spending the next three days here. Oh, look at that view. You're on the telly. In total, we did three days of diving and all the dives were amazing. We saw so much and we will definitely be back for whale season. swim with the whale sharks again we lasted it in the philippines back in 2020 yeah and one of our favorite things to do and it was yeah they can describe just exactly what happened because it was epic 
So as soon as we jumped in, we knew there was a whale shark around. And when we jumped in, I was frantically looking down, looking for the dots, and then I saw it, and its face was coming right towards me, so I stayed still. And then we were lucky enough to swim with this magnificent creature for about five to 10 minutes until it went down under. And wow, we were really close. We were the only people in the water with the whale shark. And yeah, they're wild creatures. So to see this, it's always so special. And quickly, some final comments on Tofo. We absolutely loved it there. Like, that's one of the longest places we've ever stayed on our travels. Nine nights, albeit two were not deliberate, was just epic. Super chilled, the diving was incredible. It's just a place you can- Relax. Just, yeah, just get absorbed in the, the vibe there and do nothing. We loved it. Loved our time at Sonambula, loved our time at Kumba Lodge. And then on our final night, we actually stayed somewhere different, a place called Paradise Dunes, which was 30 pound a night and was incredible value. Yeah. So if you're looking some, for something not quite on the beach but three four minute walk away good value then paradise dunes was also a great recommendation but yeah we will definitely be back we'll be back in humpback whale season yeah, for sure for sure we made it to Vilankulos finally <laughs> Good morning from Paradise. So we are in Vilanculos, which is our final stop in Mozambique and more importantly our final stop in all of Africa. We are staying at Bahia Mar Boutique Hotel. And you can see behind us this is absolute paradise. We've got three nights here, two nights in a beach suite and then we've got a sea view room for the final night. We're going to be doing some horseback riding, going on a beach, the amazing Azuruto Archipelago and yeah we've got proper relaxation paradise coming right up. Stay tuned. So we're now going to give you a tour of our incredible room at Bahia Mar Boutique Hotel. We are staying in the beach suite so let's show you what that consists of. First off is the main event which is this plunge pool overlooking the ocean. Perfection. And then we've got a beautiful decking out the front, some sun loungers down the bottom there. Now I'm going to show you inside. Oh, and we've got a patio and barbecue area. Now I'm going to show you inside. I'm instantly hit with how cool it is in here because we have air con. <laughs> Amazing. Um, we've got a massive kitchen, which is stunning. Lounge area, again. Bifold doors, overlooking the ocean, which is absolutely beautiful. And then up here we move on to the bedroom. <sighs> so much room for activities. Don't know how big that bed is, but it's absolutely ginormous. We've got a little working area here, we've got Wi-Fi in the room. Again, views of the ocean. And then we lead on to the bathroom. I mean, this is really special. Look at this. I mean, this bath is like the size of my house, I swear. It is absolutely massive. Sunken, which is beautiful as well. And then we lean back out onto the terrace and the sun lounges. Is it cold? I don't know, it's a good temperature. We're just going to quickly show you how we have direct access to the beach from our bedroom. Outside of our hotel and as you might be able to guess we are going horse riding along the beach and we are super excited good luck there you go skills i'm videoing <laughs>
was not made to live in a climate like this. Moving to Australia is going to be good then. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not Africa, is it? <laughs> Conquistors, we watched the sun as it slowly crept. From the horizon to the place we met. Here we go, guys. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Mm. Hey! Brits abroad, it's fine. It's. Yeah, look there. There he is. So, we've come from Villacuilo to Bazarito. We've walked up the dunes, unreal scenery. Then we've just gone for some snorkeling on Tumar Reef, which is really cool. We saw two black tit reef sharks, and Lewis also saw a ray. And then we just popped back to Bazarito, and we've had a really delicious lunch. Those prawns were juicy. And now we are about to head to the final island and stop of the day called Banquera. Paid $120 per person for the boat tour. You can pay around 700 US for your own private charter, but we were with, what, there was 11 of us on the boat, and you don't spend much time on the boat, so actually it make too much of a difference. So we are just about to have an hour of pure relaxation and having a massage. What are you having? I'm having the relaxology. Oh yeah. And you're having deep tissue. Everybody. Sure you did. <laughs> We've got a bottle of bubbly here and a gorgeous little bed set up here. Bubbles waiting to be popped. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey. <laughs> May I come? No, I want to do it. Show us your poor skills. Valentine's Day vibes. Valentine's Day vibes. So it's Valentine's Day evening and we have got a romantic setup overlooking the beach. Check this out. Table for one on Valentine's? Yep. <laughs> Seafood platter, look at that. I am so romantic setting this up, by <laughs> Going up because it was kind of hard, and we kept getting 
hooked onto the thorns, we're in the right place. We've come to Moz Beach, one of the only places I feel like is open for food along this beach. And yeah, we're excited to have some lunch. Villancoolos is the kind of place you just stay in your hotel and eat and relax there and we've struggled to find any restaurants. The food at Moss Beach Bar we've finally found somewhere that has really, really good food. So a very, very nice. Mozambique, an amazingly chilled couple of weeks, which was nice for us. We don't usually travel like that. Loved the diving, loved the coastline, and yeah, I think we'll be back for Paradise Holiday in the future. Yeah, definitely a place that I would recommend if you're looking for any kind of beach holiday, just gonna switch off, and yeah, I think we'll definitely be back. The diving was great. We'd love to come back and see the whales in whale season. So yeah, watch this space for that. And that is also the end of our trip in Southern Africa. We are at the airport ready to fly home. So if you've enjoyed this video, check out our other Africa content. Definitely. And stay tuned for what comes next. Yeah. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Make sure you leave any comments down below. We reply to every single one of you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss where we're traveling to next. And we'll see you in our next destination. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Enjoy it! Enjoy it! <laughs> Blowing in the fan now. Yeah. Bit Sorry. blurry. <laughs> With much, um, yeah, no, sorry. Oh, wait, no, sorry. <laughs>